Jamie was found on the Saratoga battlefield at the conclusion of Episode 7, back in 1777, and he was obviously dead. So you can't really blame a couple of thieves who mistake him for a corpse while robbing the victims on the field. However, they are in for a surprise when Claire shows up and confronts them in an effort to save her wounded husband. We see a couple endearing moments between the two before the story leaps ahead two weeks as they argue, and Claire tends to his wounds, one of which being a stomach churning one to his hand. Young Ian is sent to the tent of his crush, Rachel Hunter, presumably because of Claire's feeling of impending doom, after she informs him that a battle would take place in the future, that will draw the French into the war. She smacks him after he kisses her, and it's obvious that both of them would want to resume kissing, but Ian warns her that falling in love with him may be fatal. Of course, the fact that she is a Quaker and he is not, as well as the bothersome conflict, make it tough. But it's more probable that Ian is worried about Archbug's threat, since he threatened to murder his wife after he inadvertently killed her in Fraser's Ridge. I'll be back when you have anything to take, but I promise you, Arch said in a vindictive tone. And there is no question that Ian is resisted moving things further with Rachel because of Arch's furious pledge. During this time, Benedict Arnold is revealed to be the soldier Claire and Jamie met, and were both so impressed by. Upon learning that Arnold had deserted to the British side, a stunned Claire informs Jamie that he will go down in history as a notorious figure and a traitor. The second Saratoga fight took place on October 7, 1777, which is currently Simon Fraser. Jamie's cousin is on the other side of the conflict when Jamie joins as a rifleman with his hand sufficiently healed. When Jamie shoots a neighboring soldier's cap instead of his cousin Fraser as instructed by Arnold, the man turns around and Jamie realizes that the soldier is his son William. Jamie and Ian are among the rebels who advance and attack the British Ford after Simon is shot by another assailant. Claire attends to Benedict Arnold when he is hurt. When Arnold complains to Claire about how General Gates never promotes him and how other people receive credit for his actions on the battlefield, she tries to comfort him by assuring him that he will be remembered. Just as Jamie is about to inform Claire that he saw William on the battlefield and came dangerously close to shooting him, a British soldier enters the American rebel camp and urges Jamie and Claire to join the British side. It is Simon Fraser who is terminally wounded, is calling for him. With Scotland's shoreline visible in the distance, this season's first half concludes with Jamie, Claire, and Ian on board the British ship. A lot of ground has to be covered in the next eight episodes of season seven. Of course, finding out where Jemmy is is the most pressing problem at hand. What happens to Brianna and Mandy, who were left behind? And will Buck and Roger be able to save him from Rob Cameron's cruel clutches? There is still a lot of drama from Jemmy's kidnapping to come, and Claire, Jamie, and Ian's arrival in 18th century Scotland isn't exactly smooth sailing either, as fans of the novels will know. Season 7 features much of the events from Diana Gabaldon's seventh book, An Echo in the Bone. Since Archbug is lurking around Rachel, waiting for Ian to return, and there's always a chance William will learn that Jamie is his father, we can be fairly certain that the Frasers will eventually return to America. However, in the interim, it's likely that we will run into some familiar faces as Jamie, Claire, and Ian travel to the Lalibridge family home. The return of Jamie's loving sister Jenny and brother-in-law Ian has been confirmed via casting announcements. Jamie's stepdaughter Joan, ex-wife Lagar Fraser, Jalis Duncan, Jamie's father Brian, and Jamie's uncle Dougal, are more characters that will make an appearance. These people are likely to do so in flashbacks as they are all deceased. We predict that the second half of season 7 may be even more dramatic than the first, since practically every one of these characters has caused Jamie and Claire conflict in the past. If the video was helpful to you and you want to see more breakdowns in the future, you might want to subscribe to the channel. You have my respect for the time and focus you have given me.